All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Shield Randomizer Nuzlocke. So if you guys missed out during the last episode, basically what happened here is, guys, is that we are now finally at Winden Stadium. We just went and taken on Marnie and her team, and now what is going to be happening here for today, guys, is that I believe we're going to be probably taking on Hop or Bead. I don't know which one that we are going to go and basically do, but if I'm going to be going out and battling out with Hop, then I may probably want to go and set up with Corviknight uh, at the very beginning of the team, just in case, so that i can kind of at least uh well knock out on the trevenant as quickly as we can but if we actually do have bead then i may probably have to go out into everest and kind of switch that out but we'll see what happens uh but for right now let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap and uh let's see how everybody's doing so we got still squire at level 54 does have revenge drill pack great bird and also with home claws we also do have everest at level 51 with x's or main rise uh flame charge also with metal claw we also do have dust at level 48 almost close to that uh, evolution that i really want to get uh, before we actually go and worry about tackling out with lee on. Uh, we actually do have work out Hyper Voice, Dragon Pulse, and also Crunch. We also do have Scorp at level 48 with Burk Break, Cross Poison, Night Slash, and also with Toxic. And we also do have Hogan with Hydro Pump, Hypnosis, Rain Dance, and also with Earth Power. And we also do have Celeste at level 52 with Confusion, Heal Bell, Magical Leaf, and also with Ancient Power. So I believe that is basically everybody on the team. And I think without further ado, uh, are we also set for items and potions and everything? I want to say yes. I think we are totally fine with all of that. Yes, we do have uh, hyper potions there. We do have some full heals. I think we're all set and ready to go. So why not? Let's do it, man. Alrighty, so at last, it's time for the final match of the semifinals. Okay, so let's go and get ourselves all prepared. And let's go and head on through the actual stadium, shall we? Oh, man, here we go. It's anybody's game. Who is going to be the one that is going to be showing up here? Hop or Bead? Who is it going to be next? So, while we make our way out into the field, it is going to be Hop. Okay, so it was kind of a good idea that I kind of brought out Corviknight at the very beginning. Just so that I can at least kind of get myself all prepared if he's going to be sending out for the Trevenant first. So, but it's time I got, well, it's time that I finished what was started that day. So, guy, I'm the one who will become champion is me. All right. Well, you can go and say that all you want, huh? But I'm going to become the champion, you know. Because I need to do that so I can actually win this series. All right, so let's see what Hop's got. So Hop is actually going to go and throw down his first Pokemon, which is going to be the Doubled. Okay, so that's actually interesting. At least we'll uh, kind of use Corviknight here for this battle as well, too. Because this really shouldn't be all that too bad. Because I think one good revenge should at least kind of do a little bit of damage. Because I know that this thing is a uh, is a normal typing still. So let's see. We're going to go and throw down on a Revenge here. It's actually got Con Guard. So it's actually going to try and defense itself up a little bit. Alright, if you want to go and feel free to do so, you can. But I don't know. Is that going to do enough? Mm, yeah, with the Con Guard up. Uh, so I knew they'd be aiming for a super effective hit. Eh. So how would you know, man? All right, I'm going to go set up for another one just in case. Body Slam! That really shouldn't do anything. No, that doesn't even touch me at all, really. Thanks. Eh. Unless if you want to try and get me paralyzed, you can. Ooh, well, that was actually really nice, too. That was like a high roll uh, revenge there, too. All right. Uh, so let's go. Ooh, it's going to set for a reversal. Uh, not even going to do anything, so that's fine as well. One more revenge to do it. And with that being said, double is finished. Nice. So if you guys are wondering about what the next episode is right on after uh, once uh, this uh, shield randomizer is done uh, for today with the two videos, uh, I am going to be jumping into some Paper Mario 64. We are going to be going and battling out with Tubba Blubba and also with Tubba Blubba's heart as well too in the process. Now, Pin Urchin, I want to keep on remembering on how I need to knock this guy out because I think we need like ground or something, don't we? Let me see. Pin Urchin weakness. I think we did this before. Yeah, it's weak against ground type moves. And one thing that I'm a little bit worried about with Pin Urchin, though, is that, uh. Is that you are also electric typing, too. Um, so I guess we'll probably have to bring out maybe Everest here. I don't know. Because, because like, I'm pretty certain if I go, it would probably set up for, like, maybe, like, uh, Extas or something, or maybe some sort of other type of move. Hopefully, we can at least do something. Because I don't really like Pinnerchin at all, all that too much. Alright, let's get ourselves a little bit of a boost there. And let's see. So that's not going to be really effective, so we'll have to go for an X-Scissor then. So if it is going to just be effective, that will be nice. We actually do have a little bit of a bump up with a little bit with our uh, Silver Powder going on. So that should kind of help out a little bit. Ooh, okay. So it is going to lower its speed, but everything else is going to become really annoying. Attack and defense and everything. 
But I'm pretty certain I think one more Exorcist should at least do it. We still have a, an extra boost up there. Yeah, there we go. And we're still good. All right. Thank you. We knock out on the pit urchin. That was going to be a, a little bit of a problem if we didn't knock it out. But at least we're good. All right. We got ourselves to Snorlax. Um, I do want to bring out on Scorpo. We do have Brick Break, but we'll see if we can uh, knock this guy out. Because uh, I think if we just need at least any type of fire type move, we should be fine for the Snorlax. Now... This is where the scary thing could probably happen, because I don't know if he's going to have, like, a Gigantamax to Snorlax, or what's going to happen here. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. Uh, I'm just going to go into stuff for a brick break. You better not be Dynamaxing up on me. Okay, you're good. All right, that didn't do too much amount of damage. Heavy Slam. Uh, is that going to do a lot? Let's see. Not even anything, so that's fine. But you know what? With the Black Sludge, that would be really nice, too. Okay, another brick break. Let's see. Is that going to do anything? Okay, not too bad. Got ourselves just one more. High horsepower. Ooh, that... Ooh, okay. That actually did a lot of damage. But I think we should be fine. <laughs> I think we should be okay. Because I think after once I do this brick break, if I don't miss it, we should be okay. I'm going to risk this one out here. You better hit it. All right, good job. Good job, Scorpo. <laughs> we did get ourselves lost by the high horsepower by that annoying Snorlax there. Okay, well that's good. That's good so far. So now we have to probably have to bring out on uh, Poly World here, Corviknights. Okay. Um, now this could be a little bit of a challenge, but I guess we could probably bring out on Everest. Because uh, unfortunately, I don't really have anything um, like like anything for for lightning for like electric type attacks or anything. But I don't know if Flame Charge is going to do that much to it. Um, this could be a little bit dangerous. Let's have to see. Um, okay, let's get ourselves a little bit pumped up there. So what can I go and do? So that's not going to be very super... Uh, so we could actually... Set, no, we're not going to go for a magnet rise. I think we should be fine. I think one flame charge should at least somewhat be able to do at least something. There we go. Not too bad. That's perfect. It does have scary face, so you're going to try and reduce my speed, huh? Well, that's not going to happen. Because I can always regain it at any time as I want to with this flame charge. Not too shabby. Good job, Genesect. So just keep on doing that. <laughs> this man's just going to keep on throwing out with scary faces. I'm just going to keep on always going to be throwing out with those flame charges. I'm always going to regain my stuff, man. Not going to happen today. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's a little bit scary. Going to go for another one. Ah. Uh, of course. Uh, set it up for that drill peck there. Here we go. Another flame charge. And it does it. Perfect. Alright, that's fine. So that is all good right there. That takes care of the Corviknight. No problem. And I don't know why the uh, why the background sound is actually sounded really weird and broken like that. But I think that should be okay. Hopefully it kind of refixes itself up a little bit later. Alright, we're going to bring out with Hogan. So let's see what we got now. So bring it up with Hogan. Let's see what we can do here. Now I guess I could probably go and probably set off for a Dynamaxing and uh, see what I can do because I know that this Cinderace is going to go for a Dynamaxing too. Okay, so I'm going to set up for a Dynamax. I'm going to go. Ooh, Max Quake. That could actually probably do enough damage there. All right, so Hoff's going to get ready to Dynamax. And I'm going to get myself ready to Dynamax too. But I know that I don't really need to really worry about having a Poly Wrath. I don't think so. Eh. And I know that, uh, I know that my man Poly Roll can, will hopefully take out, will take on a few hits. And I really shouldn't worry about it too much. Oh man. That looks pretty messy with the big huge Cinder Race here. But you know what? We can play that game too. So here, take this. Poly World, let's go for the Dynamax. Here we go. All right, big boy Poly World. We got ourselves with that Max Quake. Hopefully, that can at least do something here. And who's gonna go first? Mass Knuckle? Uh, is that gonna do it enough damage? I don't think so. Yeah, they're not even gonna touch us. But it is gonna get a boost up in the attack, though. So that could be. A little bit of a worrisome problem, but with the Max Quake, hopefully it can do at least the amount of damage that I want it to. 
Ooh, not even close yet. Okay. Well, let's see. Special defense. That's actually not too bad. Oh no, I didn't want to set up for a max guard. Oh. Well, you know what? What's that gonna do? Max ooze? Huh, I already protected it. Huh, nice try. I wasn't even wanting to even go for that move. I didn't even realize that that would actually do something. Oh no. Oh, there's so much slow down here, man. <laughs> With these Dynamaxing Pokemon, it's just getting too crazy. Oh no, special attack is gonna get risen. Okay, come on. This should at least hopefully do at least something, man. Knock out on the Cinderace. Oh yeah, there we go. That's how we do it, guys. Cinderace is knocked out. I think so. Eh. And with that rain, it doesn't really uh, do any good now. Sweet. All right. That's exactly what we needed for there. Okay. Now, did we get any boosting of any level ups? But no, not going to happen today, unfortunately. All right. But there we go. Hop seems like he's already been defeated. I think that was all of his Pokemon, I think. Yeah, that was literally it. Because once that Dynamax Pokemon happened, it's all game over for him. Okay. Well, thanks, mate. I'm really glad that you were the one here with me. Thank you for all that cash, man. I will use that to to some good use, hopefully, maybe at some point. Okay. So, you know, even when Sonya was saying that if you and me look like we could become heroes, I never really felt like one. But you, mate, I think that maybe we really could do all sorts of great things together. So, good on you, Prox, and the Corviknight, and all the rest of your other team. Oh, well, thanks, man. That really does mean a lot. You know, I put a lot of good hard work into that. All right. And with that being said... Ah, we got ourselves uh, another little cutscene that's going on. Now, I think this is when uh, we may probably have to, like, do some battle with some of these Staff League members here, don't we, at some point? I know that's, that's going to, like, somewhat happen here soon, but... Hey there, Leon. So, uh, we're not uh, sure whether that you were to fit to be endorsed to the gym challenge at first, but that was you, Leaf. Well then, uh, all more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we got to defeat our challenger, but... The challenger standing before us might as well be ending up uh, be you, Prox. In fact, that, that's really what I'm hoping for. Oh, well, thanks. All right, well, that's right, Prox. So the reach challenge is what's coming next. So I'm completely exhausted. I just want to go and head back to the hotel and rest. So best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we just go and get some dinner together? Oh, uh, you say so. But you never care at all what this food tastes like, Lee. I might, uh, a night like this deserves more rubbish. Take away at least that pick us something good. All right, so can I at least go and save now if that's all right? Because I just kind of want to make sure that I, uh, just kind of end off this episode now. I don't want to really worry about too much stuff. Ugh. Of course, there always has to be like more cutscenes on top of more cutscenes. Now I have to go and literally worry about. <laughs> At least this game is not like too much like uh, like Sun and Moon, where it has like so much like storyline type of build up to it, like every so often. Ugh. All right, I'm just gonna just go and press on a random button there. Ugh. Okay, I don't really care about this with the news broadcasting thing. Okay, yes. Alright, let's just go and let me save. <laughs> just want to get this all done, man. Uh, famous people sure that I have it rough. I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm out. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. Well, several hours later. Uh, this is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says that he'll do. A kid has promised me to become champion, but one day he went and just did that. He ought to be able to go keep his own dinner plans. Oh, there's Piers. Oh, man. I know that we're going to be seeing him uh, quite a bit often throughout this part of the story now. He's, he's a little bit more kind of prominent now. Uh, why would we go there? To the Rose Tower. I don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll probably have to go and interact with uh, the battle with Oleana. Now, I remember uh, back when I first did the uh, Sword Nuzlocke uh, before a little bit of a while ago. I know that uh, Oleana was actually one problem that actually knocked out on one of my Pokemon, which I was really upset. That actually, uh, I know I, I know that for that matter, because it knocked out on my Octillery, which that really sucked. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe. And in the next one, we will be, I guess, heading onwards uh, over to where I guess uh, where, where uh, Leo's going to be at. So I'll see you guys then, and of course, uh, peace.